The Wapakoneta baseball team has been in the top three of the Western Buckeye League each of the last six seasons. Redskins just two starters returning this year, however, Chase Culver and Chandler Keck. So there's lots of position battles amongst the others. Some of the guys are guys that have dressed in the tournament the last couple of years for us. Uh, we told them the other day a lot of these guys probably could have played for us the last couple of years, um, but we had such a talented group ahead of them, so now it's their turn to, to take over the reins. How different does this feel? Because you had that group from their senior year, their junior year, even their sophomore year. It was the same guys year in and year out. Uh, you know, the coaching staff and I have talked a little bit about that. Um, it's fun because it's a new group. You get to go back to the basics. You get to go back to really doing a lot of teaching, uh, you know, getting into the, the nitty gritty and, and doing a lot of the fun things with them again. Chase, you looking at this as kind of your time to shine. You're going on to play baseball at Northern Kentucky, so your baseball days are far from over. But are you, are you looking forward to this as your senior? Yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely going to be fun with a new group of guys. Uh, you know, obviously missed the guys from last year. But, yeah, definitely I, I look forward to being a leader and, you know, helping these guys out. Take us through the college decision and process. Northern Kentucky, what did they have that, that you liked? And uh, how excited are you to have that decision out of the way? Well, I'm very excited to have this, the decision out of the way. Uh, I've always wanted to, to have that decision made, you know, before my senior year. But uh, it went well. Uh, there was a lot of reasons I, I picked it. Um, you know, they had my major. Okay. Uh, not many schools did. What's your major? It's a sport business major. Oh, wow, okay. You know, there's sports management everywhere, but sport business is hard to find. Uh, coaches are great, uh, really similar to what we have here, so definitely, definitely a big reason. Yeah. Coach, when, when you signed up to become a baseball coach, did you think you have to become a meteorologist, a geologist, a hydrologist, all, all these <laughs> things you have to keep an eye on now, particularly in the month of March, to figure out when you can actually get outside and get on your fields? Uh, this, this has been one of the, the more strange spring or late winter, early springs that we've had. Um, but we've been fortunate. This group of guys that are here have worked on the field tremendously for us. We've been on the field, I think, five times already. Um, but just, you know, they don't, they, they've learned to understand that by raking the field, hand raking it, uh, doing little things like that, we've been able to get out there, which with a young group like this, a new group, it's great because we have that competition every day. They have, they have a chance to get better on the field. And there's nothing like that as a baseball coach or player to be out on the field, uh, beats being in the gym any day of the week. <laughs> you guys were taking batting practice through the rain yesterday. Ah, let's just keep going. Uh, get, some, get some reps at least there. But what is it about this team that, that, that might be different? Are there, are there a lot of position battles going on? Or are there some guys you're really looking forward to seeing have their time to shine, to step on the varsity stage and contribute right away? Yeah, I think if you look at the group of guys that we have, a lot of them are multi-sport guys. A lot of them have played varsity football, varsity basketball. Uh, you know, this is their third season, or their third sport, varsity baseball. Um, they've been on that stage before. Um, you know, they've, they've competed. They've done well. Um, and those are great things to have. And like you said, now we have that competition going. Um, we've been out, like I said, four or five times on the field. We do a lot of grading every day on the field, uh, whether it's offensively, defensively. We got guys that can play multiple positions. Um, you know, we tell everybody to worry about doing their job and helping their teammates out. And, and that's the best thing that we can do right now by being out there. You know, they, they are battling for a spot, every guy out there, but it's a great competition to have. And, and we kind of look back as two years ago with that group of new guys that we had, mm -hmm. how they had to battle every day. And uh, those are great things for us. Chase, coach, you're just talking about how you guys have been on the stage before. You're no strangers to the regional tournament. You've made a, a second home in TIFF in the last couple of years. Is there pressure to, to keep that tradition going and make another deep postseason run for this team? I wouldn't say pressure. Um, you know, obviously we all want to get back. Um, but, you know, we don't have much experience. Not many guys have, you know, actually been there. Uh, but I definitely think that we're capable of it. And it's definitely something that we're, we're trying to do. Um, you know, obviously our eyes are on the bigger picture. Um, and that'd be a state title. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would say that that's, that's definitely something that, that we're, we're looking forward to do. Chase, for years and years, Wapakoneta has been good at baseball and, and has had some fun in the dugout as well. Right. You guys are yeah. a loose bunch, <laughs> always sure. doing uh, some crazy things, even in the background right now. Do, will we see that again this year? I, I think so. We got some <laughs> characters this year, no doubt.